If it's not on my calendar, it's not happening, and I know I'm not alone. We all have good intentions, but the friction of scheduling things just means sometimes it doesn't happen. What if I told you that you could schedule anything by just sending a text message? That's AI handling my calendar management, and by the end of this video, you will have your own personal scheduling assistant. Let's dive in. We'll be using a tool called NAN. You just go to nan.io and click on Get Started, and you can get a free trial. Alternatively, if you're interested in self-hosting and building workflows unlimited for free, you can check out my video here to learn how to set it up step by step. So we want to be able to communicate with our scheduling assistant through a Telegram chat here. Then first, we need to add a trigger. Find Telegram here and select on message. Now here, set up credential to connect with Telegram. If you're doing this for the first time, click on create new credential and you need to have a access token. Let's open my Telegram app here. So basically, you need to go find bot fodder. Then it will give you specific instructions. Just do create a new bot and follow the instructions. It's very straightforward. After you have successfully connected with your Telegram bot, we can try execute workflow. Now here, my bot name is calendar support here. I'm just gonna say, hello, my calendar assistant, just to test if the workflow can catch the message. And then we go back to the workflow, double click telegram trigger. And yes, we can see output here under that, hello, my calendar assistant, it's working. Next step, we're gonna connect with the AI agent. Click on the plus sign, and then select AI, an AI agent. Under source for prompt, select define below. Now here, we're gonna design our prompt to our calendar assistant. But before we do that, let's first connect with a chat model. Go back to the main interface and click on plus sign under chat model. Now here, I'm gonna select chat GPT open AI. See, I have already connected with my open AI account. And if you have not done so, you should click on create new credentials and just get your API key from your OpenAI account. The GPT 4.1 mini model is perfect for these kind of straightforward tasks and very cost efficient. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And next, we need to give our AI agent a tool so that it can help us schedule events on our calendars. So under tools, click on the plus sign, find Google Calendar here. If it's the first time connecting with your Google Calendar, you need to click on create new credentials here. And once again, NAN has done a terrific job at teaching us how to connect with different services credentials. You just click on open docs and follow the instructions step-by-step step to set up the OAuth connection. After you have connected with your Google Calendar here, you can leave set automatically under tool description, create under operation, and from list, just select email address associated with your Google Calendar here. Now, the start and end time. Remember, we're using AI agent, so we don't have to specify that in advance. We want the agent to find out the timing info from our text messages. So I'm just gonna click this button. This is almost like the star magic button here. So the model knows it can do this intelligently based on our text messages input. Similarly for end, I'm gonna click on this button. All right, and let's click on save. And don't worry, I know you guys saw the red cross sign here on AI agent. That's because we haven't entered the prompt yet, but it's actually a good sequence here. We're entering the prompt after we set up the calendar tool access so that it makes more sense for the agent to grasp the whole context. Okay, let's double click on AI agent and under prompt, I just paste in my prompt for my calendar assistant. Let's enlarge this so you guys can see it more clearly. So you can see this is a pretty basic prompt. I'm telling it you are assistant, help me convert natural language requests into structured Google Calendar events and scheduled tasks. And this is the goal, some rules, so that it knows some one-off event and recurring event. 
All right. Really importantly, we have to let the AI agent know what is our input trigger from our Telegram messages. So here I'm going to drag on the left hand side text, this text variable to request. So then the AI agent dynamically knows every time when I send out a text message via Telegram, that is pretty much the order. Okay, question here. Kudos to you if you know one important thing that's missing here. Let's test it out together. Remember to save. Okay, let me actually open Telegram and let's try an actual calendar request message. So let's execute this Telegram trigger again. And here I'm just going to say, please schedule a reading session for me tomorrow at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Okay, let's double click on Telegram trigger. Yes, so the first step worked successfully. Please schedule a reading session for me tomorrow by 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Hey, here comes the test with our AI agent. Let's see how it goes. So let's click on the play button here. Okay, at first glance, it seems like everything worked out right with green checks. But let's go to the calendar to see if it actually scheduled events for me. Hmm, there's nothing here. Let's open an AI agent note. It does say, I have scheduled your reading session as an event tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. If you need any further changes or additional events, just let me know. That's weird, isn't it? It says it did, but it didn't. Let's go to the Google Calendar note to find out more. Let's see, it actually scheduled an event on a date, 2024, April 28th. Pretty random. And then it's 2025. Apparently this is wrong. So how do we fix this? The solution lies in the prompt. Let's go back to AI agent, double click here. See, here's the problem. We know AI agent is smart, but it does not know the current time. We have to let the agent know the current time so it can know what date is tomorrow or seven days from today or any days we do not specify specifically. So I would add now is, and then we're gonna add in a variable here, which is now, and where do we find it? Okay, so on the left-hand side, under variables and context, let's open this. And then there is a now variable. Let's just drag this one to here. Okay, and now the AI agent will have the correct date and time info. Let's remember to save. And let's run the model again to see if it can schedule events on the calendar for tomorrow. Okay, it says node executed successfully. Let's go to calendar. Yes, it did schedule an event for us at the right time, but the title is blank and we don't want to do that. Let's go back to the calendar note. Now we need to give the AI agent model more specific tools under the Google Calendar tool. So here's what we're going to do. Under additional fields, let's click on add field. Let's add a description and let's also add a summary. And we want to adopt the same principle. We're going to click the magic star button to let the AI agent decide what should be put under description and summary. So here, click on the button here again, and let's save again. And let's try the third time. Great, it worked again on the surface. Let's go back to the calendar. The voila, a reading session, the right title for our event. Perfect. So a quick recap here. Under the calendar note, we have to activate the description in summary tab so the AI agent knows that these info are required so that our calendar title is not blank. And also under AI agent, in the prompt, remember to drag the text variable to your prompt so your Telegram messages can be connected to the AI agent. And also very importantly, we need to add the now variable so AI agent won't just guess a random date and schedule an event at a random time on our calendar. All right, then here's the last step. We want a confirmation message sent to us after the agent has successfully scheduled the event on our calendar. So we're going to click on the plus sign. We're going to select Telegram again. And this time, let's find send a text message here. 
again, connect with your Telegram account credentials and then enter a chat ID. So the chat ID is not the bot ID. And I find the quickest way to find your chat ID is in your browser. So enter something like this, HTTPS api.telegram.org slash bot and replace your bot token with the actual token and slash get updates. Here, I'm gonna copy this bot token and then replace your bot token here with enter. Okay. And here, let's find chat ID. Here, chat, and then immediately after that, ID, which is this. And just copy this over. And then after you get your chat ID, just enter your chat ID here and a confirmation message. And I would just drag the AI agent output. I have scheduled your reading session for tomorrow directly here. And you can be creative to design this message however you want. Let's save again and execute the final step. And let's open Telegram. Perfect. I received the confirmation. I have scheduled your reading session for tomorrow. If you don't want this message was sent automatically within the end here, we can go back to send a text message and under additional fields, click on add field, append in the end attribution and turn off append in the end attribution. And then save, then test again. Confirmation message received without the NAN attribution. You can turn on this workflow by click on the button here next to inactive. And then let's try something else. Please schedule a gym workout session from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. tomorrow for me. Okay, I received a confirmation. Let's go to the calendar to check. Perfect. The gym workout session schedule, 7 to 8 a.m. Just what I expected. Okay, so this is how we create a personal scheduling assistant. So the next time I need to complete my to-do items, I don't have excuses like frictions of scheduling events on my calendar or forgetting about it. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Let me know your questions down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please like, subscribe, and share it with anybody who can benefit from it. See you next time.